what is up my intergalactic friends welcome back to another intergalactic content for infinite galaxy my name is shinchi42 i am your sponsored content creator here in infinite galaxy now in today's video there's a lot of players who have been asking me hey shinchi what is your current crew now so today we're going to talk about my current crew setup which is right here let's x out of this this is my current crew setup one thing that i want to highlight in here i am a combat base so as you can see, I have 409 combat points. Now, I also have a pretty decent amount of tech as well, 255 tech. So one thing that I want to tell you guys in here right now is that crew is such an important process in Infinite Galaxy. The reason why I say this is because crew plays a critical role whether on how strong your account is or how weak your account is. Power in this game isn't everything you can mock and fake the power just because you construct a lot of ships but then if you don't have a solid crew you are going to be relatively weak when you fight other players and as well as fighting in the pve scenario guys just a quick heads up if you guys want to create a new farm account or a new account or if you are a new player in the game go ahead and please use code shinchi tv go into the profile go to settings and go to pack exchange and use shinchi tv as a new code now this is only going to work for the new players and not going to work for old players if you guys still don't understand what pvp and pve means pvp means player versus player pve means player versus environment situations as like doing ghost ship secret signal um purity protocol doing some of these strongholds and gates so I have 409 combat points. Let me give you some general tips on how you can improve your crew. So if you look into some of the crews that I have right now, there is this thing called properties. If you click the properties, you will see there are bonus um, points that are going to be given in a certain level. I highly suggest at least to get in the bare minimum is to get your crew at level 15. Most of them at 15. That would be the bare minimum. And then next, we'll be trying to get some into level 20 and then level 25. But look at my crew right now. Majority of my crew are at level 15 and a few are above 15 because I want to hit that bonus point right away. Now, there are some crews in here that I have that I am going to still optimize. So we're going to go and talk about each crew that I have in here. This formation one is my battle crew. And today we're only going to be really talking about for my battle crew Basically, this is going to be a combat related crew setup. First of all, let's talk about Yiling Ding. This is a rank 10 crew, and this is a very good crew to have in your setup. This is giving total warship armor and warship shield. Really good defensive crew to bring into your setup. Now, it's also giving up HP as well for the warship in here. This is really, really nice because warship buff is crucial. This crew is really one of the best crew I would put Yiling Ding at like S tier type of crew. The reason why is that she has literally all the warship buff that you need. This is a must have 100%. Next, let's talk about Bruno. This Bruno is really amazing as well. Um, total warship attack. Anything that you see as a warship buff is super important and you need that in your crew. This is going to be more of a missile weapon type. I don't particularly run missile weapon type, but I have already made Bruno as level 15. Plus, I really like the warship buff that he is going to bring, so I am putting Bruno in here. And plus, being a legendary crew, he does bring out a lot of stats to contribute. And Bruno is a tech provider, and Bruno is a tech specialist. As you can see, we're getting... Insane amount of tech points, 53 points for the tech. Rubia, a combat crew. Warship shield. I'm not big into the warship shield, but I really like the armor. So armor is something that I look out for Rubia von Hessen. This is a rank 9. And really combat, again, we're going to talk about the combat tree in a little bit in here. Again, this is insane combat. Now, um, I have her as level 20. Molly Mayer, another great one in here. Warship HP. HP is a great stat to improve for your warship. It's allow you to have a longevity when you are fighting against other players or 
PVE scenario. So she also has that warship buff, so it's allowing me to produce faster warships in the game. Lara, one of the first crew that you will be able to get when you first purchase into the game. Now, initially, you will see my previous video that I use her as a captain. One of the reasons why I use her in the captain because she is able to bring a lot of um, leadership. But slowly, I've realized in the game is that no matter how big your leadership is, but if you don't have a good warship buff, you're still going to really take a lot of losses and a lot of repairs. So what I've done instead, I brought Lara back into the crew. The reason why I did this is because I want to really use her points instead. Her crew points are huge, focuses on command, secondary, and combat. And I really wanted to improve both combat and command. Now, the leadership... I told myself, you know what, I will compensate the loss of big massive leadership into one flagship. Instead, I can like totalize and benefit on every single, um, what is it called? Every single flagship to benefit on the uh, leadership because then now I'm going to bring the points into command. And as you can see in command, there is a fleet leadership bonus in here. So that's what I did with Laura. Now, all my flagship will benefit on that. And also, Lara is also part of my second crew in here so that my farmers can then have a bigger leadership as well so that they can also gather more resources and especially when they're doing the planet mining. We've talked about planet mining before. So if you haven't checked that video out, go ahead and check the video out. I'll put a card on the right-hand corner. And of course, don't forget to check the links down below for more information. Now, I'm going to make my spiel in here, guys. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you like Infinite Galaxy videos, you're missing out on daily contents in here, regular content that we've been making for Infinite Galaxy. So do consider subscribing if you're really interested in getting to know more about this game. This is a wonderful game. Over 1 million downloads already. Now, guys, if you haven't created a YouTube account, you really cannot subscribe if you haven't created one. So you do need to create a YouTube account. Click subscribe so when we upload, you'll get notified. And of course, click that little bell icon, press all so you get notified on every single uploads that we're going to do. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have any concerns about the videos that we're making or if you have any questions on how you can improve into the game. I'll try to go through the comments and read them and reply to you guys as much as I can. And of course, um, don't forget to press like because everything here does help our analytics. So if you want to support this channel, I hope you guys would do some of these action items as well. Now, let's talk about Paul Matthias in here. Warship HP, great. Now, this is going to be more into the forget armor. So Paul Matthias is a forget setup. It doesn't matter what weapon type you're going to be using. So I have a Artemis, so this is perfect. You know, I'm getting armor, and I'm also getting warship HP. So as you can see, we're really boosting a lot of stuff in here. I mean, taking a look into my skill details in here, uh, you can definitely just, like, pause in between and you can see everything that i have in here is absolutely wonderful right so amelia irving so this one i had her initially as a captain but then i decided that i'm gonna bring her down to crew the reason why i brought her down to crew is that i've created a lot of destroyers now and i just don't want her to buff one flagship so i initially so my initial thought process right now is that I want to create another flagship, so I'm working on Odysseus, and I really want to make another destroyer flagship with that one. So, you know, having Amelia in here, she, she is going to be able to buff my Odysseus and as well as buff my Hades. So I'm going to win-win scenario in here, buffing too. Dorothy Milton, I really want to change her, but at this moment, I don't have the ability to change her because I've already got her to level 15. And, you know, she does give the flagship HP not really that great. But one thing that I realized in here as well is that, you know, giving that extra buff for the flagship, the flagship, the flagship can tank a little bit more. It's not that bad, but it's not the best for the setup in here. I prefer warship buff than flagship buff. Initially, when I first started, I was thinking, oh, flagship buff has to be the number one. And I started, like, I got wrecked. Let me be honest with you guys. I got wrecked. And I started to look into my setup in here. I was like, I said, you know what? Flagship buff, not the best buff. Let me change it to warship buff. And when I changed to the warship buff, and I'm telling you this, honest, honesty, it made a huge difference. I was able to defeat higher level pirates rather than focusing on the flagship buff. Warship buff will definitely get you ahead, guys. So, um, you know, Dorothy, 
nah it's okay i'm using her just because i've got her leveled up in here and i don't know what to use to replace her yet Chen Wen Tao, another one that I kind of mm, kind of hesitant in here. It is a fleet leadership buff. It's going to buff every single setup that I have, every flagship. But not the best, but it's okay, I would say. Level 15, focus on to command. Of course, it is a leadership. A little bit into command. But I haven't really decided yet what replacement I am going to do. So if you guys have any like freaking suggestions in here, let me know. Understand that my setup in here is going to be uh, frigates and as well as destroyers. So I don't really know. Maybe I will change it up with this one instead. Michael Flamingo. Another one that can be really great for frigates in here for my setup. Because I don't think there is any more. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to do missiles in here. This Michael Flamingo might be something that I will make some changes into. Most likely change Dorothy Milton and keep Gen 1 Tao. So now Helen. Some people have messaged me saying why I don't use Helen as a captain. So I've realized is that since I'm going to be doing like multiple setups of destroyer laser setup. Um, it would benefit me more having Helen as a crew member than Helen as a captain. Because as a captain, she will only buff one flagship. In this way, I can buff two flagships. And I'm here, I'm also going to tell you what I did to change my captain. Because as you can see, you're probably wondering, oh, I've seen your setup before. What is your captain now for your Hades? I'm going to give you guys a good pro tip after this. So, uh, Madeline, Warship HP, absolutely wonderful. HP is something that you guys should be buffing for your Warship. Because it's really going to be the best stats that you can improve in the game. Hua Xiang Fei, Warship Armor, the second best stats that you can improve into the game. I've explained this before that armor is better than shield, as armor, um, when the attack comes in, it penetrates the armor, splits out, deviates some of the damages, um, going to HP and as well as um, the shield. What it does, it basically it mitigates those damages for both. So armor is crucial if you're buffing up your hp you need to be buffing up your armor as well the shield honestly i'm not that keen into the shield and i'm not really that keen into missile weapon type as well now i'm just trying to go through here as fast as i can to give you guys the most information because i value your time guys this is a game but also i know you guys want to dominate and improve um the crew that i set up in here for my uh hades you're gonna be surprised i moved robbie sunny nicholas this is total warship armor okay you're probably wondering why the heck did you do that well first of all i told you guys what i feel about armor and i really like it and the second thing is that robbie sunny nicholas is kind of useless as a crew member if you don't know if you don't know this um as a crew, she's only pretty much buffing warship build speed, right? Eh, not really that great. Not, I mean, it, not great in the sense of combat, right? It, she is really great as a captain because she's improving warship armor. So, like I said in here, when I changed my captains, my crew members, I was looking for the benefit of holistic of my entire fleet setup. And, you know, Robbie Sonny Nicholas is not going to benefit my combat setup for being a warship build speed for her skill. So as a captain, she does much better. So Robbie Sunny Nicholas is definitely a captain. Now, yeah, you don't really need this. I mean, it's 9%. Yes, it's cool. You can always demote her whenever you're going to do those massive building warships, you know, event. Like for the Galaxy Star, that is something that you can do so that you can save speed ups in here and save time. Then bring her down during that time, but then you're going to spend, you know, to bring her back to captain. But it's actually worth it to do that. But like I said, she is definitely a captain and not a crew member because you're losing that warship buff. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the combat in here. And uh, actually, let's just go ahead and talk about why I did my entire crew point setup in here. What I did is navigate speed and then going for fleet leadership. And then going here, I put flagship attack because I just need to find something. I don't focus on to the um, construction speed and as well as the research speed because the time in this game for the construction and research is very minimal. I wouldn't recommend for you to do that. So, and then we did energy recovery, warship construction. Um, we did spaceport construction speed and research speed. I just had to go through that. 
Um, I technically don't need it, but it does help a little bit. Um, and then I put into the fleet leadership in here. I don't really care much about the fleet leadership. And of course, we're going for the flagship armor and flagship shield. Now, let's talk about combat. Okay, combat is relatively easy to discuss in here. I put everything. Forget. Destroyers. Cruisers HP. All of these is super important. I would definitely get this all because you're pretty much going to be using all of these at some point. Regardless of it, you want that, okay? Plus, you need all of that to progress to the next road anyway. I would skip these two. These two are neutral units. Read that, neutral units. I've seen a lot of players who have made mistakes in here and huge, huge mistakes. Neutral units, this is only going to be good when you're doing at PvE. Same thing with a lot of players that I've seen who's been using Prometheus for fighting in PvP. No, no, no. Those are PvE situational setups. So avoid these two. Avoid this also. This is another neutral units. This is not going to benefit you when you're fighting in war against other players. What you want is this, total warship armor. Now imagine this, if you improve your total warship armor, it is going to work with PvP and as well as in PvE. So you're winning in two scenarios in here. So it's a smart way to do than just focusing on PvE. Remember this guys, my pro tip to you guys is that when you are building your setups in here, one thing that you need to understand is that PvP investment will benefit you on PvE in situations. If you invest if you invest on PvE flagships or setups, you are not going to benefit on PvP because it's a PvE scenario only. Just remember that PvP has more value. So this is why we're doing our setup into PvP setups. Now we have now we increase worship range plus 3%, which is really good. And then I focus on destroyers first since I mainly destroyers and frigates. So destroyers maxed out there. We're trying to work on frigates in here. We put warship armor when in battle with other commanders. Warship shield when in battle with other commanders, 18%. And then we're also increasing warship attack when in battle with other commanders. Remember, this game is not a PvE type of game. This is a war game, a battle game. It's a PvP SLG all right simulation games now tech another very important situation to have in here tech is super nice um i would say primarily combat second in tech the reason why i say this you get a lot of benefit in tech you can see in here damage weapon attacks in here right armor all right this is where you get the benefit of the damage so i have kinetic weapon 15 percent missile weapon 15 percent laser weapon 15 percent and then i skip through all this i don't need this spaceport defense cannon building ship q yeah you can use that for like galaxy star event sure but is it going to benefit you when you're going to war no we're talking about war right now and yes this too might benefit you if you do get attack yes but you know <laughs> try not to get attacked basically use your shield try to be active and if there's battles you know, you just pretty much have to get the support with your allies so that they can help you defend. Honestly, I wouldn't waste your setup in here for the cannons. I wouldn't. I would rather focus on the warship because you have more warship than cannons. Remember that. Um, warship armor, 22%. Again, skipping any cannon buff. I skipped the shield because I've told you my opinion about the shield. Okay, I did put warship build in here, but it's only like one. And total warship attack again this is benefiting warships and then i'm going to put warship hp in here as well actually i should have done warship hp instead of warship attack but that's okay that's totally reasonable um you know i have really good warship hp with all the crew that i have so you know so it's like spreading it with the warship attack is is not really that huge deal um but that's where i'm at right now with 255 tech right now and um, I'm probably going to get into the Warship HP because we need um, to unlock these. We need about 50 more. So definitely going to get into Warship HP. I really want to get this finish as well and then Warship HP. And then once we get here, again, this is amazing. Total Warship Armor, Warship HP. So tech, tech is a good thing i want to make sure that i get these two as well and then moving in here kinetic weapon missile weapon back at it again so back at it in this setup again it's insane logistic this is really more for farming um anything that's going to support your account for growth 
So load boost, really great. Um, this is for my farming setup, basically. Planetarium, yeah. And I've what I've done in here is that um, I've maxed this out, actually. So if I have more points, it's going to divvy out uh, into into here as well. So I think I think it's set up in here because of my preset two for my farmer. But I don't really care much about logistics because in battle situations it doesn't really matter. Um, what I like about this though, I would suggest get the repair cost reduction and as well as repair speed because those are going to help you out long run when you are in a very intense battle. So if I am in a very intense battle, I may actually just like you know reset my crew points in here and i would definitely put into the repair cost reduction more and repair speed as well and then repair for the flagship uh it's not that bad really um but yes i would probably put some into the flagship repair just to mitigate some of the costs in here but this is mainly for um planet mining and mining in the field and mining in the galaxy as well. So this is logistics is something that you would want to use when you are doing your minor setup. As you can see, we have 200 on logistics in here and that's my logistics setup in here. So this is a video about fighting. This video is about combat and tech. So I think I've explained a lot of things to you guys. So hopefully this was very helpful. Guys, I'm really super passionate about this game. I really love this game. And amazing, like I've fallen in love with this video game. Honestly, when I played this game, I thought it wasn't going to be that like crazy and it wasn't going to be that like, you know, super fun. But oh my God, I think I am slowly like getting really in depth into this and really falling in love with this game. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about this game? Don't be that silent watchers that just watches the video and not leave a comment. Say something here, guys. What do you think about this game? Have you fallen in love with the game? Are you guys enjoying? What's your current power? What's your crew? Do you have any suggestions to me? I may be a YouTuber, but I am also just a player who is learning and I'm just sharing my experiences here with you guys online. So don't hesitate to tell me, hey Shin, I, you know what? Maybe you can change one of your crew to this crew so that you can improve. Bro, girls, I love to learn about that. Tell me in the comment section below. I am not one of those YouTubers that has like a high big ego and whatever like that. You know, you tell me, I will look into it and I will definitely consider your opinions. Anyway, guys, my intergalactic friends, thank you for watching. I will see you again next time. Hopefully I can earn your support here for this channel.